Kylie. Thank you for chatting with us. So I am Rosie from Total Girl Magazine. First up, tell us about your very cute but very fierce character, Emiko. The amazing thing about her is that despite that she's small and little, she is so fearless and powerful and she's like a ball of fury. And although the cats in her town may judge her for her looks and sizes, she'll never back down from that kind of challenge. And she uses all her skills, charms, and even her flaws to fight the battle. She has very good instincts and willingness to help Hank save the village. She is a big inspiration on me and she has the spirit of a true samurai. She sounds very cool. <laughs> and what was it like seeing your character come to life? I saw bits and pieces of the animation draft, but I didn't really get to really see it, what I kind of look like. But then when I watched the movie, I was like blown away. It was not the same as anything as I thought it was. And I can't wait for everyone to see all those characters um, from their home screen. <laughs> Ah, the smell of victory. How did you feel when you got the part? And like, kind of tell us, how did you find out? Well, it was just a normal audition from my agent. And I recorded the audition takes on my mom's phone. We didn't have recording equipment back then. She sent it in. And a few weeks later, I got a call back. And I was so excited because I was able to meet the directors, Robin Bark, casting directors, producers. And a little while later after that, I got a call from my agent and manager saying that I booked the role of Amico. And I was like, screaming so many times. And oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> jumping up and down <laughs> and it's a dream come true and it's been such an amazing journey. And what was it like stepping into I guess the recording studio for the first time and going through your lines? Well I recorded at home and at the studio. At home recording the studio sent me lots of equipment which my mom and dad helped me set up and since we just moved to a new apartment we didn't like know where to put my voiceover booth so we just decided to put it in my room and I had to wear a blanket over my head for a few hours. While recording I used those equipment while getting directions via Zoom for my voiceover acting. And I'm so glad that we have technology, especially during the pandemic. It was definitely a silver lining. <laughs> and what was it like, the overall experience, especially working with some really big stars or working alongside them in the same project? That was like the biggest surprise because I look always look up to them and watch all of them in movies. And it was so cool that I'm part of the same movie as them. So you can, you're triple threat, singing, dancing, acting. <laughs> what would be the dream? dream role for you in your career? Um, well, for voiceover acting, I would love to have a role, a cute character again, um, but who can also sing because I love singing. Um, and for live acting, I'd say I'm an action role because I'm learning martial arts right now. Um, and for musical theater, I would choose Ooh, like Miss Saigon, a dramatic role, or comedy like Beetlejuice. I would love to be in those. And you mentioned just briefly then you're learning martial arts. Was that inspired by the film at all? <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of. And I love watching like I action movies. And so me and my brother like practice together. Back on your dream roles, who would be your dream, I guess, actors or actresses to work with on a project? Definitely Michelle Yeoh, um, Julie Andrews, Aquafina, and Ali Evil. <laughs> what advice do you have for young girls as well who dream of kind of getting following a similar footsteps who dream of maybe acting voice acting getting into theater what advice do you have for them don't give up follow what you love believe in your goals and most importantly have fun because people who watch can tell you're not having a great time now we love all the animals in the films do you have any pets yourself no but my auntie has so when i visit her house i always play with her dog <laughs> but i actually have so many stuffed animals that i sleep with and i can't like put on my bed sometimes i have like a turtle rhino rabbit pig lamb monkey hedgehog penguin so many and also a huge cat <laughs> love that <laughs> and are you team cat or team dog team dog i would say because like you can walk with them to the park and play fetch and have fun and they're always so energetic <laughs> So what was your favorite childhood movie of all time? Mary Poppins. <laughs> your favorite animal if you had to pick one? Turtle or monkey. Your favorite emoji? The heart one. <laughs> favorite color? Purple. Favorite food? Donuts, boba tea, and french fries. <laughs> and lastly, do you have a random or cool fact about yourself? Well, I'm a boba tea lover and I love watching comedy series and sitcoms with my brother and we've watched so many and we, my brother and I always refer to the jokes from them. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe subscribe for more. Bye!